Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing with learning more about chemistry. This is the 11th video of the 12 video series and I'll be leaving all previous video links in the description below so go and check it out. Today I'll be talking about isotopes and relative atomic mass. What are isotopes? So isotopes are different atomic forms of the same element which have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons and they also have a different mass number. If they were to have the different proton numbers, then there will be different atoms altogether. A popular pair of isotopes are carbon-12 and carbon-14, which is used for carbon dating. Here, you can see carbon-12 on the left, which is common carbon, has six neutrons, but the radioactive carbon on the right has eight neutrons. Remember, both isotopes have the same number of protons, which is six in this case, otherwise there will be a different element. We've already talked about relative atomic mass in a previous video, but let's go over it again. So relative atomic mass is just a way of saying how heavy different atoms are compared with the mass of the atom. So for example, carbon-12 has an AR, or atomic mass of exactly 12. And so if you balance it out with carbon-13, carbon-13 is going to be heavier, but you're going to be measuring out. Carbon-12 is the most naturally occurring one, and so we call it the common isotope. So it has to allow for the relative mass of each isotope and its relative abundance. So relative abundance just means how much there is of each isotope compared to the total amount of elements in the world. This can be a ratio, a fraction or a percentage. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.